So I just want to chat to you about my trad climbing rack. And what I mean by that is, is the cams that I carry when I'm on the lead that I can place into those more parallel shaped tracks. Or maybe the spreader wires that I carry that I place into more of those sort of funnel shaped tracks. So nice spread of wires and cams and also a good spread of quick draws that I use to clip into either a wire or a cam so that I can then clip my rope to that quick draw, climb past it and continue on leading that pitch of rock. But to kick things off, what I carry on a pitch of rock will very much be dependent on the rock type and maybe the pitch that I'm climbing. So for instance, if I'm climbing on grit stone, grit stone has many more sort of parallel cracks in the rock naturally. So I'm gonna be carrying a lot more cams than maybe our wires when I'm leading a pitch. But if I'm climbing here in the Lake District, you find that, yeah, there's a selection of parallel shaped cracks, but there's often many, many more, maybe funnel shaped cracks that I can place these wires into. So I'll adjust the rack that I carry, depending on maybe the rock type, and also the actual climb that I'm climbing as well. So for instance, if I'm climbing a very hard route, I might stand at the bottom and look up, and the actual gear on that route might be quite minimal. So I might really pare down that rock and maybe only carry one or two cams or maybe only a handful of wires. So it depends on the sort of pitch that you're climbing and also a little bit of the rock type in terms of what you actually carry up that pitch when you're leading it. So if we kick things off by just chatting about the wires that I carry here in the Lake District when I go trad climbing. I like to carry a really nice selection of wires. The wires come from one to 10 and I like to double up on each one of those sizes. And the reason for that is that if I place say a number five low down on the pitch, I know in my mind when I'm climbing, I've still got a number five to place higher up if I need to. It also means that I've got a nice spread of wires for when I get to the top to create a sound anchor and belay to bring up that second. So a good selection of wires doubling up on one to 10. And I spread those wires out over three different snapling carabiners. And the reason for that is that, you know, I see a lot of people trying to carry all their wires on maybe one or two snaplings. And I find that it's too much of a bunch for one carabiner and it's really easy to drop a wire while you're up there trying to place another one. So spread them out, smalls, medium and larges over maybe three snap link carabiners, just so you don't drop a wire and they're easier to, to navigate your way through, to choose one that you want and then place it without dropping it. And then also make sure that the, the snap link carabiner that you use has got a smooth you know, um, you know, head there key lock head so that the wire slides off smoothly without it getting caught in the nose. So make sure you use one of these sort of key lock style snap link carabiners so you can take your wires off without fumbling or drop them. So your wires are spread over three snap link carabiners, you've got a spread of wires from one to ten and you're doubling up on all those sizes and then also I carry you know seven to nine in these rock centrics again on one of these key lock carabiners so I can access them efficiently. But again, they're for those sort of bigger style cracks that are sort of more funnel shaped. So a good selection of wires there sort of for any pitch of rock that you're gonna climb in the Lake District. But if we chat about the cams that I carry now, here in the Lake District, I'll probably carry four or five different size cams from finger width through to fist width size. And that will just give me enough cams to place on the lead to fit into those more parallel shaped cracks when I'm climbing on sort of more moderate terrain here in the Lake District. But certainly if I'm climbing on grit stone, I'll be placing way more cams than I am wires and I'll be doubling up on all those sizes that I carry and maybe just a handful of wires for those other placements where there's less of. So now if we just chat a little bit about the quick draws that I carry. Now I like to carry a nice spread of quick draws from you know small, medium to sort of longer length draws, as well as quick draws that I can extend as well. Because it's really important that when we do place these wires in these funnel shaped cracks, we place them, you know, they're secure, they're there for that downward pull. But what we don't want to do is lift the wire out. And it's really easy to lift the wire out 
if you put a really stiff quick draw into it. And the reason for that is if I clip a rope into this orange carabiner now, the friction in the rope as I climb past it potentially can lift out that, that wire in the crack that you've placed. So we need to be really soft on this gear that we place so we don't lift it out when we climb past it. And that's why these extendable quick draws are fantastic. So even in the state they are now where they're shortened, you know, any movement in this orange carabiner, not much movement gets transferred to this second carabiner and then to that wire as well. But I can even create less friction and be softer on that gear by extending it. So any movement from the rope in this orange carabiner, you can see that there's absolutely no movement in this wire and you're very unlikely going to lift it out as you climb past it. It's also great to extend around a corner of an arete or something or, or around a small overhand to make sure the rope runs smoothly, but also so that you're soft on this gear that you place. So you just make sure that, you know, of the quick draws that you carry, I would say, you know, if you're climbing at a moderate level, half the quick draws should be these ones that you can extend and the other half just be a medium to long lengths so you can play around with those lengths while you are climbing and extending those wires on the lead. And on the back of my harness, I carry um, a small bunch like this, and that's a, a couple of slings and screw gate carabiners. And I use these slings for linking up those wires and cams together to create and build a, a solid anchor and belay to bring up my partner. I've got a couple of screw gate carabiners, one to help link those slings together and the other one to safeguard me and make sure that I'm clipped in safely. I've got a screw gate carabiner and a belay plate that I can run the rope through and bring up my partner. And then I've just got a little bunch here which is a Prosuk, um, a camming device and I can use that in crag rescue scenarios. I always carry a spare belay plate when I'm multi-pitch climbing. So, so that's pretty much me in terms of the sort of spreader kit that I carry. It's dependent on the rock type. It's maybe also dependent on the pitch that I climb. But typically on moderate terrain here in the Lake District, I've got a nice spread of wires. I've got a handful of cams. I've got a good spread of quick draws and some that I can extend. So I'm soft on that gear that I place. And I've got some slings and spare screw gate carabiners and a belay plate then to bring up my second.